Hello, good morning. I am starting the vlog on Tuesday with some very exciting news. So the paper that I've been speaking about for quite a long time now is finally published. So I will put the link down below. I'm actually at the printer printing it off to show my lab colleagues and we have a wall where we put all of our papers. So I'm going to pin it up there. But yeah, what a nice start to this Tuesday. Presents from the other collaborator on the paper. Do you want to say something? <laughs> Thanks to Jessica. Thanks to the whole team. Thanks to Reiner, thanks to Marcel. Thanks to Rishi. Thanks to Rishi. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thanks Good collaboration. To thanks to Adi. Do you want to be in the video, Adi? <laughs> Say hello. 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 To 12 finish. months to finish our paper. Yeah, I did. It yeah. took a long time. Bit, 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 bit. Yeah. But it paid off in the long run. I'll make a video at some point explaining the ups and downs of... We can do yeah. it together. Yeah. But yeah, good work. Same to you, Jessica. <laughs> Thank you. Good collaboration. Yeah, woo! Hello guys, so what a successful Tuesday. So as you heard this morning, yee, my second first author paper has now been published, which is so exciting. This paper has literally been in the works for almost a year now. If you'd be more interested in hearing, you know, like the process behind collaborating for a paper and the planning and doing all of the experiments and dealing with the reviewers and doing extra experiments that were required by the reviewers, then please let me know because I'd be happy to do an in-depth video all about publishing a results paper. I will leave the link down below if you are interested in looking at the paper, but yes, I am just so excited. I have a second piece of good news for today which is that I have managed to solve the structure well I think I've managed to solve the structure of my compound that I have been working on for a few weeks now and yeah I am so excited so this is great as I mentioned in my last video this is a new compound which has not been reported in literature before it's from a marine invertebrate because I work on marine invertebrates and yeah it's just great because we are constantly trying to find new compounds new and interesting and exciting compounds in natural products research and it's one of the main aims of doing a natural products PhD so to have actually managed to find my second new compound which I hope to publish in the future once I have some more bioactivity data yeah it's just it's such a good achievement and both of these things have happened all in one day I worked with my colleague Emmanuel today and I showed him my new proposed structure and he seems to be pretty convinced but we will see what my supervisor says and fingers crossed that I've got this structure correct anyway it's 4 p.m now I have mainly been working on that structure and cleaning up my bench in the lab because we have a visit later in the week and as you've seen in previous videos my desk my bench is a mess so i've been cleaning that up and now i need to go to the microbiology lab check the stuff that i autoclaved this morning because i'm going to be reviving some new bacteria tomorrow which is also exciting because that's part of a collaboration with my colleagues in France that I was working with during my internship. Gosh, there was a lot of talk about collaboration today. Um, yeah, so I need to get those bacteria revived, growing and test them for another exciting paper. So yeah, today's been a good day. I'm very, very happy, motivated and excited to write about this new compound in my thesis. I am collecting my stuff from the autoclave from this morning and then I'm going to the gym to play squash. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Oh! Et voila! See you tomorrow, guys. Hi guys, it's Thursday. Please excuse my dressing gown and the fact that I'm in bed. But yeah, I've woken up today and I feel awful. I... Right, let's go back a step. So yesterday was a weird day. I was not in a very good headspace because I had a terrible sleep and for the whole of the morning I was just like paralysed and didn't really manage to like mentally paralysed. So was finding it really difficult to get motivated and get started on my work and yeah, I was just frozen. And because of that, I was getting stressed because I wasn't getting anything done and I was thinking of everything I had to do and my progress wasn't moving forwards and yeah. And then in the afternoon I had a burst of sudden energy and I managed to get stuff done and that was fine. I managed to get like my whole day's worth of work done in like a few hours so that was good. I had an early night last night because I was feeling just a bit rubbish to be honest. And I've woken up today and I feel terrible. So I was hoping today I was going to wake up, feel energised, ready to go 
spend the day at home writing but yeah when i got out of bed i was really dizzy and i feel a bit sick and i'm just not really sure what is up with me to be honest so i'm back in bed and i just yeah i'm just i'm annoyed that my body is feeling like this i'm confused that my body is feeling like this because i don't know what's going on and my brain's just kind of thinking well why do i feel like this and yeah today has not started the way that i hoped it would and it's not got a very good outlook i guess because i had all these plans to write get loads done and yet here i am in bed feeling awful hello friends what a weird morning <laughs> that was as you can see i am feeling a lot better than I was a few hours ago. It's currently 20 to 1 and I have actually been working for the last few hours. I started working at 10 in the end because yeah I was in bed and I felt terrible but it passed and I have no idea why I was feeling nauseous, why I was my body was just feeling weird this morning but thankfully it has passed so we're all good. I had a very very focused couple of hours of just bashing out some writing so I'm very pleased with how that went. I can't remember if I've spoken to you guys about how I'm tackling my thesis writing but uh, it's not the most linear process I will say that. I'm kind of jumping between writing chapters because there's some experiments that I still need to do for some of my chapters one of my chapters now is almost finished which is very exciting because i can't remember if i mentioned in the vlog this week but i have finally figured out the structure of my compound which is so exciting i think i might have mentioned it the other day honestly i've got a brain like a goldfish i do not remember what i did yesterday <laughs> anyway so that's exciting so that means that i can kind of start to round off that chapter i just need to do a few little confirmation experiments because this is a new compound so you need to make sure that you've got the structure 100 percent correct so i was speaking with one of my advisors and he was suggesting some other experiments to try so i'm going to try them tomorrow and hopefully it confirms the structure and yeah i can round off that chapter and have one chapter in the bag which will be so exciting if you'd like me to go into a bit more detail about like the structure of my thesis at one point i can certainly do that just let me know anyway yes back to what i was saying about not being very linear so i've been writing bits of all different chapters i find writing the results sections the easiest the experimental sections are typically fine because for most of my experiments i have like typed up the process as i have been going along which is really useful by the way because then everything is there just to basically copy and paste but sometimes with experimental there's some details missing like what was the hplc column what's the exact name of that machine and that's kind of the little finer details that is holding me back from finishing off the experimental parts and of course introductions of chapters uh, they are not easy going <laughs> they require a lot of time a lot of patience a lot of reading a lot of researching so naturally they just take longer so i tend to avoid them if i'm not feeling in a you know creative kind of mindset so yeah i'm quite happy with how everything is going we are at the end of october nearly and once we get into november i will have november december january and february to finish everything off so that's four months until handing in my thesis and i feel like i'm very much on track which is great like i say i do still have a few more experiments to do i have now received my new bacteria because i'm kind of starting from the start because i've mentioned the last few weeks that i've been having problems with my bacteria so we have got new freeze-dried stocks i'm going to revive them and start again <laughs> basically not start again in terms of my experiments just start again in terms of start from the beginning with the bacteria and hopefully they perform how they used to. All in all, I'm feeling quite good now uh, compared to this morning. So I have a meeting in 15 minutes with a fellow Instagrammer and YouTuber. We're going to discuss some collaboration plans and then back to it for the afternoon. I realise I've just rambled on for like five minutes there, but I just wanted to give you a little update on like how the thesis is going and how I am feeling compared to this morning. So I'll probably speak to you guys later on or tomorrow. I'm not too sure. Hello, hello, I am back. It is 20 past three and believe it or not, I am packing up for the day. I am stopping working for the day and I'm going to spend the rest of the day doing stuff for me. This is something that happens very rarely because I suffer a lot with guilt when taking time off, but everything that I had on my to-do list, I've actually managed to finish 
already and I'm feeling in a good place with my writing like I said earlier so why the heck wouldn't I give myself the rest of the afternoon off? There is one task that has been hanging over me for a very long time and that is to tidy my bedroom, to tidy up my wardrobes because I have this habit of just throwing things on the floor or hiding things by just shoving them in my wardrobes and I think this is my opportunity to actually fix that. So I've just put twilight on my iPad and I'm going to start cleaning and hopefully this will just make me feel super zen and super accomplished and yeah then I'm gonna relax for the rest of the evening. So I will speak to you guys tomorrow. Today has been a good day in the end after my strange morning this morning. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.